I go from phonemes to text? We use, you have seen this before also, we will use something called lexicon or dictionary. Okay. So, in the lexicon or dictionary, I actually have the words written, let us say arm, right. I can use the English way of doing uh, 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 phonemes. So, it can be arm like this or I can have the English word and I can use the English. So, this is called a lookup table or a, a dictionary. Usually, it is built per language. I am putting two different languages here, but usually you do it for one language. So, the idea is that given text right for which I want to synthesize voice, I am going to use a lexicon and convert it to a sequence of phonemes. Okay. This is one part and if you remember in automatic speech recognition, if you do not remember I will again go through the steps. In automatic speech recognition or ASR, I had the audio signal and what I will do is I will take some small pieces of it and extract some useful features which we will call as Mel filter bank features. Remember, okay, so there, why do we need this? So, in the text processing also, you do not actually handle text, right? You have to tokenize it, you have to break it up into characters or small words, small pieces of words like BPEs, and for each one of them you are going to learn a vector, an embedding vector, right. So, that is coming from the text side, I see for computers to handle uh, these things, you need to convert it into some kind of a number form, right. So, we are going to give it a sequence of vectors, which we call as embeddings. Similarly, given the audio signal, we convert it into a sequence of embeddings. Here, we have some signal processing ideas, some idea that sounds have frequency content. So, we are capturing those different frequency content. So, we are taking small blocks of the speech signal and we create this Mel filter bank features. Okay. If you remember in the automatic speech recognition task, my task was to take this okay, and I will go to the next slide. So, I will start with the speech signal. I will convert this into a sequence of phonemes, sorry, sequence of Mel filter bank features, right. And then I will have a, a big kind of um, neural network, right. And I can go to phonemes, sometimes I will go. Now, this is like each one of these guys will try to predict some kind of phoneme. Is it pH 1? This is pH 2 phonemes. From phonemes, I can go to text and therefore, I can do the ASR problem. Okay. So, this is the way we normally do in ASR problem. Okay. But sometimes, I will skip the going to the phoneme part, I will directly go to the text part. I can do it through CTC or any other ideas by, you know, sort of skipping the phoneme step. But if you look at it, I this picture itself gives me a very good idea how I should be doing text to speech. Okay. So, in text to speech, what do I do? In text to speech, I am going to go in the reverse direction, that is all. So, you give me a sentence like how are you, right? Then I have to now convert it into a sequence of phonemes. Okay. Now, this is done through lexicon, right? Now, this is called the, this is a text, this is the phonemes. 
now phonemes by themselves are just some characters or something, some, some representation like your word units, right. So, I have to create embeddings here for each one of them. This is an embedding, right. So, this is now I have got it into a, 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 form, a form that is only numbers, right. The, similar to whatever you did for word embeddings, I can do the same thing here. Then I have a big neural network. And now I want to get these acoustic Mel filter bank vectors here. So, these are Mel filter bank or Mel spectrogram. So, I need Mel spectrogram except now remember I am going in the opposite direction. In the ASR I came from top to bottom, in the TTS problem I am going to go from bottom to top, okay. I mean I am just writing it that way, okay. So, therefore, you will get this. In Mel spectrogram this we do not stop here, we need one additional neural network which is called a vocoder and this will synthesize speech, okay. So, um, the vocoder basically, uh, Mel spectrogram is essentially capturing all the information. The vocoder has to get it into sample by sample form and vocoders can be quite easily trained. They are not very dependent on the speaker or even the language to some extent, right. So, vocoders are pretty robust to a lot of things, okay. Now, I have to get some extra information. This is a text, but text alone is not enough, right. I want a gender, right. So, or I want a particular person's voice. So, apart from this, I also can give it some additional information. So, this system will not only get text as an input, I might also plus add speaker. So, I can add a speaker embedding here, another embedding called speaker embedding, okay. For every speaker, I can have some kind of a, a representative vector. This is what you did in the second part where you did speaker diarization, where there were two speakers, you actually had some kind of a speaker embedding for each of them and found out which speaker, you know, had higher probabilities and that is how you figured it out. So, now, I can give this as an additional information to enable the system to generate the voice in that particular speaker's voice, okay. So, given the speaker embedding, that is another thing I need if I want to generate speaker in a particular voice, okay. Sometimes we might have systems that can only generate one voice. For example, Alexa, right. Alexa, they have only one voice, at least in India, now they are trying to get more voices but usually it is the women's voice that is always popular, okay. So, you could not have multiple voices also and therefore, you can have you know uh, for the same text you can change the speaker embedding and a different voice will come through, okay. So, this is basically what is a text to speech system. Now, we are going to go through a collab notebook to explain to you what we want to do, but remember these steps are very, very simple. First, I have text and then I will convert it to phonemes somehow. Uh, then I will have a neural network, it will output my spectral features that will go through a vocoder and then the speech signal will come out, okay. And if I want a particular speaker's voice, then I will also have to give the speaker embedding, okay. Mm -hmm.